In this lecture, we are going to learn about the HANA architecture and the deployment options. The topics we will be covering, they are what is HANA architecture, deployment options, and these deployment options are on-premise, public cloud, private cloud, hybrid, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. So let us start with HANA architecture. SAP HANA architecture. SAP HANA database runs on SUSE Linux enterprise server. This database is built on C++ language. HANA database consists of a set of in-memory processing engines. HANA database runs on different servers and these servers are basically so they are layer of servers that i'm going to show you in the next slide so among these layers so these are the 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 layers so first one is the index server which is the most important one and then we got the name server and then we got the statistics server pro process server pro processor server xs engine and that's all now if you look at this um slide here you can see all the architecture now from a function uh, consultant point of view it might look complicated uh, but that's how it is so in this lecture we just need understanding of the architecture we don't need to go into full depth because this is uh, not a technical course now here you can see at the bottom um, you can see at the bottom we got the preprocessor server and also we got the name server on the top of this one we got index server and then we got above this one we got web server and on the top we got ui which is the web browser that we use by the using the fury apps so basically the the ui browser will 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 communicate to web server and web server will communicate to uh, this index server and index server will further communicate to the processors pro processor server and name server so that's that's the architecture in brief about hana now we'll discuss about the HANA deployment options. Now with regards to deploy deployment, there are three options. So let's have a look into these options. First one is the on-premise deployment. So where we have all the, the, the hardware, the server is within the company premises in a physical location. So we'll discuss in more detail in a minute. Then the second option is cloud where we have the data stored in the cloud. Now within cloud, there are again two more options. So first one is public cloud and other one can be a private cloud. So public cloud is where you share the, the, the cloud with the other customers as well, whereas the private cloud is totally private and dedicated server set up for you on the cloud. Then we got hybrid. So hybrid is basically a combination of cloud plus on-premise system. Basically, some data is uh, on the cloud and some data can be on-premise. So now in the next slides, we're going to have uh, more details about these three options. So let us first discuss about the on-premise deployment. This is a traditional model that is most commonly used where software is installed and run by the customer on-site. There is a better flexibility with modification and customization since all the customization are done in-house. More cost due to the company's own hardware, software license fee and annual software maintenance support fee. Customer decides the frequency and schedule of software upgrades. Implementation takes longer as compared to the cloud implementation. Organization have greater control over data leaks, security threats, and other data security problems. Some organizations may want it on-premise only due to security reason. For example, Department of Defense. So, so for example, if it's a company like Department of De Defense or say it's a, it's a government department where the data is, um, they want to keep it secure. So in that case, they will probably most likely not go for any cloud solution because there is a they can be security um, reasons. So they want to keep it on-premise and in that case, they will be going for the on-premise deployment. Now on the other side, for the cloud deployment, 
there are limited customizing available in com cloud as compared to the on-premise system. There is an ongoing monthly subscription fee that covers everything from infrastructure to cloud provider support to daily backups and software upgrades. Implementation is faster than as for HANA on-premise because the cloud version uses a pre-configured platform that has already been provisioned and implemented. All upgrades are done by SAP company through customer. The customer can choose the time, timing and fun, funct, functionality of the upgrade. Cloud deployment could involve greater security risk due to the data being sent over the internet. Customers can scale up or down whenever they want to meet their changing needs. It is easier and faster. So that's the comparison between cloud. So one of the major points to be noted here is among all these points is that within the cloud, we it's a pre-configured system and we do not have much option for a customized system. Where when, when, whereas when we have the on-premise system, it is there's more flexibility regarding the customizing um, as compared to the cloud option. Um, the course that we're going through is uh, uh, on-premise and this is the most commonly used system uh, uh, in all over the world. Now we'll discuss about the cloud deployment categories. So cloud com computing services can be private or public and they are divided into three categories. Now what is private and what is public that we'll see in a minute but before that uh, we'll discuss that these services are divided into three categories and these categories are first one is IaaS which is known as infrastructure infrastructure as a service then we got PaaS platform as a service and the third one is SaaS which is a software as a service now before we talk more about in these three categories um, just an overview uh, if you look at this slide we'll get a better understanding by looking at this slide so basically in looking at this slide when you see here that for there are different services mentioned here for example when it's on premise obviously everything is has to be done by the company itself or managed here you can see saying managed by you so that means all 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 these things are managed themselves by the company so like application runtime middleware OS, um, virtualization, server, storage, network. So on-premise everything will be done by way, by the, the client or by the company. Whereas when you go to IES infrastructure as service, so first five stuff, which is application data, runtime, middleware, and OS is managed by the company. Whereas vendor will be managing virtualization, server, storage, and networking. Then when you go to PAS, where platform as a service, then the first two only managed by you and most of the other stuff is done by the vendor. So here application and data only will be managed by the company. Everything other will be managed by the vendor. And when you go to SaaS, software as a service, then everything is managed by the vendor. So this gives you a better understanding of what the differences are, IAS, PAS and SAS. Now we'll briefly look at into this, the definition of IAS and the services provided by these categories. So cloud computing services can be private or cloud and they are divided into three categories. So first one is infrastructure as a service. This provides supply, this provider supply a virtual server instance and storage. Users have an allocated storage capacity and can start, stop, access and configure the virtual machine and storage as desired. IAAS providers offer small, medium, large, extra large and customized instances for various workload needs. Then we've got the second one as a platform as a service, which is PaaS. The provider hosts uh, development tools on their infrastructure. Users access the, those tools over the internet using application pro programming interfaces, which is known as APIs, web portal, or gateway software. PaaS is used for general software development, and many PaaS providers will host the software after it's developed. And the last one is SaaS, software as a service. So SaaS is a distribution model that delivers software applications over the internet. 
These are often called web services. Users can access SaaS applications and services from any location using a using a computer or mobile device that has internet access. So these are the three categories within the cloud deployment options. Now we'll discuss about the difference between the public cloud and private cloud. So obviously, uh, as the meaning is saying that public cloud cloud is where you sharing the, the system or the, the server uh, the cloud server with the other customers whereas private is your own private it's a dedicated server so let's compare this this one so if you look at this one with the public cloud number one provides standard business processes configuration only whereas private companies can choose from the s4 hana components available that they want to implement then we've got the second one supports multiple customer whereas this the private cluster of dedicated server the third is supports only few industry specific solution like manufacturing hr and sales support etc whereas the private one cloud supports significantly more industries as compared to the public one fourth is support offers support for only a limited number of countries and languages whereas the private offers more has far more option than public cloud. Fifth one is the upgrade are new, upgrades are new features are supplied to all tenants on the public cloud. Whereas with the private tenants can pick up their desired upgrades and features. Sixth is the less expensive, which is a public cloud because you're sharing the system with other customers. And private is more expensive because that's you, you're paying for the whole system, whole server. And the last one is the seventh one suited to for small to medium sized business whereas private is uh, suited for the large business so that's the comparison between the public and the private cloud now so we discuss about the the three deployment options so first one was um, the on premise second one was the cloud and the third one is the hybrid deployment so let's discuss what is hybrid deployment So the combination of on-premise and cloud is known as hybrid deployment. This option will suit a business where they want to keep the sensitive data on-premise and this can be on the cloud. So for example, if, if in a company, um, they can have say customers, uh, they can have a sensitive data, for example, customer related data or uh, the CRM data or can be finance related data. So in that case, they want to keep those data um, uh, on house and all other data can be on the cloud so that's in that case they can go for the hybrid deployment which is a combination of the cloud and on-premise solution so that's all about this thank you very much to watch this